Welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually editing this vlog that should be up tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and I realized that when I first started this vlog, I could not use my camera because I was having issues with it. And we fixed it, but the first day of the Hey reader -thon vlog got lost between my old camera and my phone footage. So it's going to start on day two and I'm going to be in the middle of two books. They are The Night Gardener and Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, so enjoy this vlog. I'm sorry that day one cut out, but this is the best I can do. Welcome to day two of the Hey Reader a thon. Uh, it is late on day two because I worked all day today and I didn't think I was going to get any reading done and technically I might kind of be right but I am in the middle of a buddy read of House Rules by Jody Picoult and I only have a couple of hours left on the audiobook and you know what that one is just grabbing my attention it's not for the hate reader on it was just a bonus <laughs> it was just a bonus buddy read uh so i'm going to listen to this on audio while i do homework for an hour or two I might even finish it tonight, but it is so good. And then I guess I should update you on the rest of everything that I've been reading. I'm right in the middle of three books right now. So, the first one is House. I am that far from the ending. I might be able to do that today. Magic Misfits. Uh, I am like 50 pages. 50 pages into. But it's keeping my attention. And I'm really enjoying it. And then The Night Gardener. Which I am really close to the ending. So I think I'm just going to read... House rules. Day three of the Hay Reader Thon. And I have yet to finish any of the books on my TBR. However, I did finish House Rules by Jody Pickle last night. And uh, I cried like a freaking baby. It is great. Uh, so I, this is the second Jodi Pukult book I have read. The first one was 19 Minutes, which is about a school shooting, which was pretty good. I loved the twist in that one. This one was a very good mystery. I don't know if you'd consider it a mystery. I think it's a hard-hitting contemporary mystery but you follow this boy who is 18 years old and who happens to have Asperger's which is high functioning autism 
So everything about this book got me because it follows Jacob and his baby brother Theo who sometimes has to act like the older brother and by sometimes I mean a lot and he uh you get the inner monologue of like six different characters including Jacob, his brother Theo, his mom Emma, his lawyer, and a detective. Oh, yeah, okay, so five different characters. And it really just stuck with me because as a sibling to someone that has autism, it, I felt like I was right there and like I had gone through some of this some of the same things that this family has gone through only in the premise of this book is that Jacob is obsessed with crime he loves watching the crime shows um there is this own version of like Law and Order but they call it something else in this book that he has to watch every day and he takes notes on the cases and tries to figure out who is responsible and then in real life he has a life coach named Jess who is trying to teach him how to be uh, like a functioning adult in the society and uh, Jess goes missing and you get all the different perspectives of what happened to her from everyone else but it's still a mystery of what happened you only get bits and pieces and I was certain that I knew what had happened to Jess and I was completely wrong. So this just gripped me from the very beginning. And initially last night I gave it four stars because there's something about Jodi Picoult's writing that is a little bit slower. And I didn't think it had to be this huge. But that means that I got a big book for February which I was not planning on so that's pretty awesome but I've been thinking about it and you know I it just hit so close to home for me that I have to give this five out of five stars so this is my first finished book of the readathon I'm going to be reading The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. I'm about 50 pages in. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'm kind of doing active reading. I am taking notes inside the margins because there are riddles and things sprinkled in this book that I just adds another layer. I love it. The only problem is usually I read when I'm trying to go to sleep, um, but my brain is not up to par when I'm going to sleep, so I'm trying to read this when I'm awake enough for a little bit of a riddle. It is so cute, though. You follow Carter, who becomes orphaned, and then he gets shipped off to his uncle, and his uncle is not a good person and teaches him how to be a magician. But not in the sense of, oh, real magic. In the sense of uh, sleight of hand so he can just, like, steal stuff from people. And uh, he doesn't like that lifestyle, so he has run away from his uncle and he has found a carnival. So there might be a little reading montage of this. With you, I can be sad with you.
just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear with you I want to stay with you with you I love the way that you love me today let's run up through the fields to where
day four of the Hay Reader a thon. So today is an asynchronous day at school. I actually have my computer right here and I have a video from my math teacher. We had class this morning, but my math teacher had to cancel because she was getting her second dose of the vaccine at the same time we were supposed to be in class. So she left us like a 20 minute video that I have to watch and I'm sure that there's going to be some homework on there. So for the first little bit this morning, I'm going to be focusing on homework. Hey friends, so I just finished the assignment that's due for math for today's class since it was asynchronous this week and I really want a break so I'm going to read more of the Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. I am a good chunk in. I think I'm like 100 pages. Okay, I'm 99 pages, but I feel like I could potentially finish this today. And then I have only two more books to read for the He Reader is on, so it's exciting. Um, I actually have this on audiobook now and the island island of the blue dolphin by scott odell on audio as well so i have some editing to do i'm thinking i'm gonna listen to the magic misfits while i edit a couple of videos good morning friends it is day five of the hey reader a thon and last night I finished about half of this book. Let's see. I think maybe even more than half. I'm on chapter 19, which is 116 pages in. So I have about this big chunk left. I'll probably listen to it on the way to work this afternoon and... Then I'll be done with book three today, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so then all I have left is uh, The Tea Dragon Society, which is the book that I'm supposed to read in a single day. So I will might start that tomorrow. But today is a busy day for me as I have a class in about 20 minutes. And then I have <laughs> class until, okay, it's 8 o'clock right now. Class starts at 8.30. And then I have class until 1. And then I have about an hour of a break to get ready for work, maybe eat something. And then I have to leave for work at 2 because I start at 3. And then I close. So <laughs> I don't know how much of vlogging I'm actually going to get done today. If nothing else. Good morning. I read half of this. Maybe a little over half. Um, it's okay. It's kind of boring actually. So my first class of the day is done. I have one more in about an hour and I really want to go eat. I need to find some food. Uh, but something that we've been working on in my morning class, so my writing class is uh, I am from poem. So we're doing a unit on poetry and more precisely identity text right now and it's very helpful. So, I love writing. I'm sometimes really good at it. Uh, and the problem with writing is that I don't share it very often because I'm very shy and I get very nervous to share. 
because it's like I'm giving you a part of my soul and what if you don't like it or you like laugh at me or whatever you know I have these very weird odd fears about my writing I posted this on my on my blog which I will link down below I'm gonna try to start being more active on there but I'm really busy and I either have to plan videos for booktube or plan what I'm gonna write and then write for my blog so unfortunately it's not my number one concern right now but I will start leaving it in the description box especially if I start writing more and this is up on my blog if you want to go check it out or you can just sit down and enjoy me reading this to you. Okay, so I am from, I'm from Endless Nights, from Prednisone Induced Eating, and the words I write on my empty pages. I'm from a broken home raged on by sickness. I'm from the beauty of the waterfalls in the sky, the fields of grass calling my name. I'm from laughing in the face of danger and living like there is no tomorrow. From my dad who never gives up and my mom who believes in me more than I believe in myself. And my brothers who are always in my corner. I'm from movie nights and coffee dates. I'm from lazy dog days, from living a thousand lives and being fearless in all that I do. From just peachy and because I said so. I'm from being a believer to not always showing it, to my church's basketball games on Sunday nights, to the time I got kicked out of church, and now I have never gone back. I'm from Travel Adventures, my older brother's biggest fan, my little brother's biggest ally, and my husband's best friend. I'm from Dad's Lemon Pepper Chicken and Mom's Hamburger Gravy. From the day I became a McDermott, leaving my last name in the wind, the day my baby brother was born, and the day I watched my grandpa die. I'm from smiles that I wish would never fade, from laughter shaking my soul awake, from tears that washed away my pain, from scary goodbyes and everything in between. I'm from rough, rocky alleyways and soft landings in the summer. I finished, ow, that actually hurt. I finished Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. Uh, I didn't love it. I see how it has merit, especially as like from the teaching perspective. I do like that part, but I was bored. Hey friends, so it is day six of the Hey Reader a thon, and I've actually started another book that is not part of my TBR, so I'm gonna finish this one tomorrow because today is my last book on my Hey Reader a thon TBR, which is The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. It's a graphic novel. I picked it for the prompt of to read a book in a day. Uh, I've been up <laughs> all day uh, in class and honestly I'm not feeling all that good. I'm just have a little bit of a headache. So I'm gonna try to sit down and read this and maybe lay down a little bit. Uh, so enjoy this reading montage.
the last day of the Hey Reader a thon. We did it! We finished our entire TBR. Uh oh. Uh, hopefully my video will be up tomorrow as I'm going to go edit this after class. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Editing Alita here. I gave you a bunch of reading updates and you watched me read these four books, but I never told you what I thought of them. I just told you that I read it, that I was in the middle of reading it, and that I read it, and everything. So we're going to just quickly go over this wrap-up for the Hey reader a So, the last book that I read was The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. This is a graphic novel, and honestly, it's just super duper cute. It's four chapters because each season is a different chapter. And just look at the artwork. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's about this girl who is a blacksmith. Her mom is teaching her how to be a blacksmith. And then she comes upon this tea and her mom says, oh, I got it from the guy down the, sto down the street. And uh, when she goes in to learn how to make tea, he shows her the tea dragon. And then she officially becomes a member. And it, I gave it four stars. Uh, it's just really cute, though. Then I read Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. This is to read a book with the first four letters of your name. So it would be A-L-I-N-D. A-L-I-N-D. All in the first word. Um... I've been wanting to read this book for a long time and I finally read it and I didn't love it. It was kind of very boring to me. I gave it three stars because I do see how it can be used in a classroom. So my teacher brain was kind of like, oh, you know what? It's okay as a teaching tool, but for my personal reading, Mm, nah. The, I read The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. It's just really cute. But it's got chapters that are just about teaching you how to do magic, which was really cool. I tried to do that. Then there's like hidden riddles. I don't want to show you the answer though, because if you have it, but there's a map which is cool. But you follow Carter, who has been orphaned just like any middle grade, you know, like all the good middle grades. And he gets shipped off to live with his uncle, who is a bad guy. He's not a good guy. You don't want to hang out with his uncle. He doesn't want to hang out with his uncle, but he has to. And his uncle teaches him how to steal and how to be a con man. And he hates that life. He do he's not for it at all. So he runs away from his uncle and he kind of finds refuge in an unexpected place. Or like the twist in here, I didn't see coming, but I absolutely just loved it. This is the first in a series, so I would definitely love to finish the series. I don't have any more of the series yet, but eventually I want to finish this. Was The Night Gardener by Jonathan Uxler. So this cover, is just so pretty. Uh, the book was okay. Uh, you follow these two siblings who are
the girl, Molly, calls this house where she can be a maid and basically earn her room and board for her and her brother. And when she gets there, the uh, owner of the house, the lady, the master of the house, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think what they say. The master of the house is kind of like, no, we don't need you, go away. And then what are they supposed to do? And somehow they come across this wishing tree and they find some uh, very mysterious, creepy elements that happen with the tree and the house that she ends up working at. And it was creepy. Especially for a middle grade. It kind of creeped me out. But that's why I enjoyed it. I gave it three stars. It was a fun time. So if you just want a nice, fun, a little bit scary read, pick this one up. But that was the Hey Reader-a-thon.